You've arrived. My pickle rats. My pickle rats. Where you at? That's what I'm talking about. Are you late for Leighton? Oh boy. Oh boy. Look, they already made a pun earlier today. You gotta relax, Mad Wormstick. Uh, well that was easy. Look, Professor. We're just a few steps away from the hospital. Wonderful, let's head over. Need more pick -a rats Okay, didn't want to do that. Usually they don't let you progress until... Until you hit the little thing bomber. There we go. I think there's only three. I'm hoping there's only three. You missed the banana puzzle? It was appealing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> See, I, 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 I read the sentence in my head first, and I was like, that's fine. And then, as I said it out loud, the very last word, I understood what was going on. And uh, that one was really good, but oh my gosh. Hello there. Good day, madam. Would you mind helping us with something? Sure. I've got nothing better to do today. This place is dead. Uh, that's a very interesting thing to say in a hospital. Uh, we're here to visit. Uh, someone in your care. Can you point us toward room 312? 312, huh? Let's see. Huh, Dr. Andrew Schrader. Sure. What? I'm sorry, did you just say Andrew Schrader? Mind your volume, sir. You are in a hospital after all. So, are you two relatives of Dr. Schrader? No, actually, I'm a former student of his. And your little friend here? He's, well... Dr. Schrader's pupil apprentice. Oh. Old 312 is quite the fan club, doesn't he? Or has. Uh, anyway, you can see him if you like, but I'm going to need you to fill out some paperwork first. What kind of paperwork? Oh, it's just hospital policy. Don't worry, though. It's only one question. And let us guard down for exactly 20 seconds. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, the doctor needs to visit nine different hospital rooms. After studying the room numbers, she notices that she can visit all the rooms in one round. In order to do so, she must go through a room that has at least one shared digit with the room she's currently in. Using this method, which room will she visit fifth? Circle the correct number. Okay, so fifth is the last one, I think. Okay. So we want to chain into thing. So if we go like one, Well, there's no, oh. You're studying the room number. She notices she can visit all the rooms in one round in order to do so. She must go through a room that has at least one shared digit. Okay, so two, three. There's no other sevens. So seven might, might be it. Um. One, just get rid of everything. One, two, three. Um, four. Oh, 
five, six, seven, eight. It is 71. We're going with 71. Although... It's a 30 pick -a puzzle, so it can't be that easy. It's impossible. Also, I've marked this one as 5. Is there any other way... I started at four. I don't I don't understand this puzzle. Is the only way I could do this in this order? Theoretically I could go backwards, couldn't I? And if I did be nine or one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I guess we'll go with 63. I don't know if you could do uh, this 30 picarats. There's gonna be something else here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, I'm going to choose sixty three. Let's see if I've got this right. Let's go. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Correct. Room 63 is the fifth room she will visit using this unique method. The 2 and 7 can only be used once. The rest of the digits can be uh, used at least twice. So the order of her round will be as shown above, whether she starts from room 29 or 71. The fifth room visited will always be 63. Clips might be the best thing Twitch put in. I would agree. Clips are pretty amazing. Thank you very much. You can visit Dr. Schrader now. Or Schrader. Uh, his room is on the third floor. Just take those stairs over there. Up a dead tree. I get three of them here? Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. Strange, no one's here. Perhaps the receptionist gave us the wrong. We've seen that guy before. Who's that? Oh, it's you, Herschel, and little Luke. Andrew? Hmm, why the quizzical look, Herschel? Have I got food in my beard again? Oh, don't mind that, my boy. Sit down, sit down. You know, I've been hearing some very unsavory rumors about you recently. But I don't believe a single one of them. What sort of unsavory rumors? What sort, you ask? The, the ones about the, the, the hootie was it? The, the thingamawizard? The, um, oh, oh, drat. I seem to have forgotten them completely. Well, never mind all that then. Let's 
Sokafu. I, I just wanted some picarets. Or, I wanted some coins. Uh, what, are the, what are the coins called? I forgot what the coins called. Hint coins. Uh, have a look at this x-ray. You think it's of Dr. Schrader? I believe so, but there's something odd about it. Have a look here, Luke. Run, Luke, run. When the doctor showed me my x-ray, he said that he found the scissors they lost last week during my operation. Look, see that shape? Can you believe it? I wouldn't worry about those scissors. Uh, this is what you should really be concerned about. What was, the prof what was Professor Layton referring to when he said this? Circle the answer and tap submit. Discount 60% off surgery. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna look for differences. I'm trying to ignore the images. The images don't seem to really offer anything of value here. So I definitely feel like this is the answer here. But for 25 Picarats, it seems... Whatchamacallit, not that easy. Also a finger right here. It's pointing right here. Just suspicious to me. Also, this hand and this hand are different colors. You know what? I think... Okay, maybe that doesn't work. You want to know what makes an arrow shape? On an x-ray? <laughs> Who knows? Can you select them all? You could not. I think yes is a good answer to this puzzle. Unfortunately, you could not circle them all. This is a needle and thread. I don't know what this is. Tweezers, maybe? A compass? This is like the only thing where you can draw and not have it be like one of these objects. I think I'm just gonna go with that. Let's see. I, I definitely think I got this wrong. Hmm. Take another look, look, look at the x-ray. What's that white thing? Okay, I did see this here, and I was concerned about that as well. We'll, we'll try that, that next. Do the trick. All right. I definitely did Just see that. I suspected. Um, 
but you know I don't I don't know I don't know they are all concerning yeah there is that too a uh, good eye there's a mysterious white mark in the bottom of the patient's stomach perhaps he swallowed a coin or something by mistake when when x-rays aren't able to pass through something solid the object will appear as white as or as a white shadow the black objects on the x-ray are probably the result of a practical joke someone must have superimpose those images on the doctor's x-ray after it was taken. This is one of the reasons why latent puzzles can be suckafoo sometimes. It's for explanations like this. It's not funny at all. Who would try to play a prank like that on poor Dr. Schrader? Let's not jump to any conclusions, Luke. The doctor is quite the prankster himself. Entirely possible he faked this whole x-ray and placed it here to su uh, surprise his visitors. Uh, if that's the case, he sure got me good. I was really worried for a moment there. A little spitting cup of tea. Not expecting any more, but... Poor guy is suffering from ligma. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ligma Thule? Uh, uh, it's been a while, hasn't it, Andrew? Yes, it has. I trust you're still spending the majority of your waking hours doing research. Uh, what can I say? I learned from the best. Uh, having an office to work out uh, work out of has made it easier, though. You've got your own office. Oh, what am I saying? You've had one for some time, haven't you? And you deserve it. I've, s I've seen my share of scholars, but you were the brightest ever to set foot in my classroom. Naturally. Whoops, with all this excitement, I nearly forgot to take my medicine. Silly me. Got the bottle right here, but the dosage for the prescription is quite tricky. Luke, be a good boy and help me figure out how much of this I need to drink. Oh boy. And it reminds you of Joe? Who the suckle foo is Joe? Dr. Schrader needs to drink one fifth of this bottle of medicine per day over a period of five days. Unfortunately, the bottle isn't marked, so there's no way of telling the dosage from it. Now, uh, now it's time to take the second dose. The medicine in the bottle has been reduced as shown in the diagram. Uh, where should he stop drinking today? Draw a line on the, on the bottle to mark the stopping point. You know what? We're going to move this up here. What kind of suckle food bottle is this? Okay, so he's already taken one dose. So it's a 25 picker at puzzle, so can't I just do this? So how do you drink like that? <laughs> it can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. Hmm, how about this? 
I don't know what to say. Look at the shape of the bottle again and figure out how to divide its contents into five equal parts. Oh, so he gets to drink one little portion of that? But I, but, you know, when it comes to me, I can't make it do that? Suckers. This is totally the right answer. I don't care what anybody says. So well, that's half. any sense this game is a sucker fool I don't know the answer to this one and it would be an absolute shame for this man to have a measuring cup while staying in a hospital yeah It'd be a shame if this is how the hospital runs to be honest metric the whole world uses it the whole world but the USA yep Yep, for some reason we would just we wanted to be fun and silly and le goofy. Once again, this is still half. I feel like I had the right answer. I don't care what this game says. You know what? I'm not gonna spend any hint coins on this one. I'm just gonna grab the answer. This one's a sukafu. A big sukafu. You think it's a horizontal line? So you mean like that? I don't want to say I don't trust you, Ken, but gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip it all not there so you want something I can't even create lines I can't create lines in the center of things you can only be at corners. Anyways, I'm looking this one up. Alright, so the first hint. It might be easiest to divide the liquid into five doses by looking at the, uh, the bottle from the bottom. If each square portion is one dose, then on the first day, you would drink one square. On the next day, you need to drink one more. Okay, obviously. No matter how you tilt the bottle, there is no good way to get an even square worth of medicine. So how would you get that amount by dividing things up another way? For example, you could try putting two squares side by side, making a rectangle, and then drawing a line down the middle from the corner. The resulting tri- Alright, you know what? Just just give me the answer. This is some bull crap. This is some bull crap. This is some bull crap. Alright, so corner. So it's not this corner, it is this corner is what they are saying. Here's my answer. 
No puzzle can stop Leighton's apprentice. <laughs> Across two cubes diagonal. So this one this one totally cheats because well I guess I guess it doesn't. This one's so stupid. This one's really really stupid. Because this man managed to drink one of those. The answer that I had wasn't even wrong. Like, how is drinking this right here uh, le or more or less feasible than just drinking one of these? You know, Th this is a perfect example of a latent puzzle being a sucker foo. The bottle was on the side. isn't even how you drink the thing. <laughs> um, that's right, you can turn the bottle left or right and it would still work. Looking at the diagram, you can see that a diagonal line, like the one shown, divides the long rectangle into two. Uh, since the rectangle makes up two-fifths of the medicine, having it creates just the right amount. Perfect example of a latent puzzle being a sakafu. Uh, you've taught this boy well, Herschel. It's clear you've passed down some of my smarts. Yes, as I was saying, uh, you always were the brightest, though I had another pupil who came close. That boy was something of a whiz himself. I wonder what ever became of him. Well, Andrew, it's been wonderful seeing you, but it's growing late. We ought to be on our way. Ah, busy as always, I see. Do drop by again when you have the time, won't you? Oh, but before you go, I have something of yours I should return. I've been looking after her for some time now, you see. I won't be needing her anymore, so you can take her away. The old dear's parked around back. I see, thank you. That was a pleasant surprise to see you today, Herschel. I know you're in a bit of a hurry, so take those keys to the rear of the building. I'm, I'm dipping out of here. How do we drop by? He's not even going to remember we were there. Wow, Dante, wow. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, hint coins. One more, where is it at? I'm assuming there's one more. I don't actually know if there's... Always three. Why, this looks to be my car. Thought the same thing. Come to think of it, I've never seen anyone else with such a funny-shaped car. Funny-shaped? I'll have you know, this is a classic. Judging by all the dust and dirt on it, it must be. I guess no one took care of the poor car the whole time it was parked out here. Yes, it does appear to have been left exposed to the elements for quite some time. Why don't we see if the car still runs? If it does, we won't need to depend on the subway anymore. That's an excellent suggestion, Luke. What's the matter, Professor? Someone's installed a peculiar lock on the door. Who could have done such a thing? He's a bed-bound old man, just take the stuff. He won't remember. Yikes. Uh, you've been given two keys to the Leighton Mobile, but there's no keyhole in which to insert them. 
Instead, the door is opened by entering a secret number. The secret number is hidden somewhere in the keys. What is it? Okay. Is it 47? How many, uh, okay, so we got three. So zero four seven. I feel like that's too easy for thirty five picarats. Uh, is there anything else we can? Look like I can flip them. That 47 looks pretty perfect too. That's the thing though, it's 35 picarats. So there there has to be some sort of twist. It it's just a little too perfect, you know? Just, it's just too easy with that, but I'll enter in 47. And we'll get it wrong. Let's see if I've got this right. Okay. Well, that's settled. Sometimes, I guess. Sometimes. Good eye, the secret number is 47. The numbers appear when you hold the teeth of the keys together. I guess sometimes they'll just be that easy. There we are, it's finally open. All right, start her up, Professor. What's this? The engine won't start. Well, it has been ten years since we last saw the Leighton Mobile, Professor. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a broken part or two. Hmm. Oh, look, Professor. There's something on the passenger seat. Oh, you know what? The voice actor might have Professor, changed. I hope that by this point you're convinced that this is the London of the future. Uh... Might be right on that one. I, I'm starting to hear the differences. Now that we are on the same page, I'd like to explain to you the secret that's plaguing London. However, I think it would be best to discuss this issue in person. Meet me at the Gilded Seven Casino on Flatstone Street. I'll be waiting for you there. Uh, we have a miner with us. Okay. There's a certain point in the casino where he cannot go. Well, what do you say, Luke? Are you ready to meet your future self? Honestly, I don't know. This whole situation has me feeling very strange. That's quite understandable. Hmm. Isn't that Sasuke's voice actor for Naruto? I haven't seen the English dub of Naruto in a long time. I have no idea what Sasuke's voice sounds like. <laughs> 